How to Cure a Slice For many golfers, learning how to cure a slice is the top priority. While there are many other types of golf shot flaws, hook, shank, etc., none are as frustrating or annoying as that wild curved ball to the right. The Good News Learning how to cure a slice does not have to be complicated or confusing. Here are some tips on ridding your golf game of this problem shot. One of the main reasons golfers so often send their shots screaming into the right-hand tree line is because they do not take the time to set up properly. To learn how to cure a slice, check your setup first. Make sure your feet and shoulders are lined up correctly. For most shots, your left foot should be under your left shoulder. When you set up with a closed or open shoulder, the ball will not travel straight. The next step in learning how to cure a slice is examining your grip. Avoid clenching the club too tightly in your hands, as this will restrict your swing. On the other hand, holding it too loose will cause the club face to move on impact. A nice, firm grip is best. Also, check the position of your hands on the shaft. Take your normal stance, grip the club, and look down at your hands. You should see no more and no less than two knuckles on your left hand, for right-handed golfers. To learn how to cure a slice, the key to success is having the club face strike the ball while the face is square. If the club face is open, the ball will veer to the right. If your shots end up going right often, you may have a problem with your hip turn. It is important that your hips make a smooth, full turn as you move through your downswing, at impact, and during follow through. Remember, the key is to strike the ball with the face of the club square, and this cannot happen unless your hips are rotating smoothly with your swing. As your club strikes the ball, continue your swing and hip rotation until you have a nice, high finish. A common reason for sending the ball into right field is picking up the head too soon. Many golfers will lift their heads to see where the ball is going, leading to that microsecond of a mistake that causes a bad hit. Another common mistake, and one that is easy to fix, is swinging too fast. Some golfers will speed up their hands as they begin their downswing, with the wrong assumption that it will add power and distance. Yes, club head speed is important, but it should come from the whole body, not just the hands. One of the most important keys to learning how to cure a slice is spending time determining what the cause. Your swing is unique to you, and it is vital that you narrow down the possible culprits to find the one or two things you are doing wrong.